The Africa Yoga Project has trained over 40 Kenyan yoga teachers. These young Kenyan leaders now teach free yoga classes in their communities. See their world and be inspired by their voice in our new book, Portraits of Empowerment and Peace. Support our programs in these communities. Purchase the book and learn more about our programs at africayogaproject.org. Hi, I'm Felicia Tomasco, and I'm the editor-in-chief of LA Yoga Ayurveda and Health magazine, and I'm a practitioner and teacher of yoga and Ayurveda. According to Ayurveda, we are what we digest, and our digestion is a key component of maintaining our health, vitality, and well-being. And there are many different teachings that describe how we actually take care of our digestion. So here's a few simple suggestions. Our digestion is described in Ayurveda as a fire, and the Sanskrit word for it is Agni, is that fire. So if you think about it, if we pour a whole bunch of cold water on that fire, it's not conducive to the fire actually burning well and transforming what we're eating. For that reason, Ayurveda discourages drinking ice water or ice drinks with meals. Instead, we want to have things that are room temperature or even hot, you know, like body temperature, something that helps to create that sense of internal warmth and helps to stoke or feed the fire. Also, another way to strengthen and stimulate our digestive system is to start out the day with a cup of hot water with something like lemon or lime or orange or even a little bit of honey. And what that does is begins our day promoting the process of cleansing, promoting the process of things moving through us that need to move through us so then we can actually digest whatever we feed ourselves with or whatever we use to nourish ourselves. Another way to help promote good digestion is to give some space between meals. Now there's lots of different theories about how often we're supposed to eat and from the perspective of Ayurveda, different things work for different people. Some people need to eat more often, some people need to eat less often. But no matter what, giving us some space between our meals allows our body to digest whatever we've eaten before we move on to the next thing. Also in terms of digestion, we want to think about when we sit down to eat, we're not just eating the food. We're not just taking in calories and protein and some vitamins, but we're actually taking in the whole experience. Because digestion is a process that exists not just on the physical level, but the mental, emotional, even spiritual levels. So what is the environment in which you're eating? Are you eating your evening news along with your dinner? Are you taking in that horror movie or the fight with your family? Or are you, as much as possible, creating an environment in which you eat that has some sense of love, some sense of community, or some sense of quiet or stability? Are you eating in front of the computer? Are you eating in the car as you're driving down the freeway and cutting somebody off? It's like, what are the ways? Sometimes we don't even realize that we're eating when we eat in that way. So taking the time to pause, to look at your food, to enter a relationship with it, because you're going to ultimately be entering a very intimate relationship with it. So you might as well start when it's on your plate. So enter that relationship with intention. And that too, that process of paying attention and having intention, that stimulates digestion as much as herbs like ginger, cayenne pepper, anything else could do. The power of intention the power of our attention is powerful when it comes to our digestion. Try that out at your next meal. Sit down. Create an environment that is supportive, that is loving. Pay attention to your food. Have something warm or hot. Sip on it slowly and digest well. Namaste.